In the worst decades, Scotland, as well as parts of Scandinavia and Iceland, experienced famine. Upland farms and villages in England and Germany may have been abandoned partly for this reason. With respect to the period immediately following the great deglacial phase, now usually referred to as the climatic optimum, Lamb had this to say, the extent of ice on land decreasing throughout the warm epoch may have reached its minimum around 2000 to 1500 years BC. That is after the main part of the warm epoch was over. By soon after 4000 BC, the world's sea level had risen to about its present level, or possibly even a few meters above, because of rather higher ocean temperatures than now. And he estimates that they were at least one degree centigrade higher in the tropical Atlantic and probably several degrees warmer in the Arctic. What I'm presenting to you here is evidence that the status of ice in the Arctic Ocean presently in terms of the of the mass and volume of the ice is not unprecedented. There's clearly evidence that exists that shows that the um, volume and amount of ice in the Arctic Ocean has waxed and waned along with the oscillating climate.